I'm glad you could join us. Go ahead and stab the like button and stick around for the next untold story. In the quiet town of Elmwood, nestled in the heart of rural America, life moved at a leisurely pace. Surrounded by dense forests and rolling hills, the town was a close-knit community where everyone knew everyone. It was the kind of place where people left their doors unlocked and children played outside until dusk. Emily Parker, a high school science teacher, had lived in Elmwood her entire life. She enjoyed the simplicity and tranquility of small town life, finding solace in the predictable rhythms of her daily routine. But her life took a terrifying turn on a cold autumn night in 2022. It was a typical Friday evening, and Emily was returning home after a late night grading session at school. The roads were empty, and the only sound was the hum of her car's engine as she drove through the dark, winding forest road that led to her house. As she rounded a bend, her headlights caught something unusual, an intense, bright light hovering above the trees. At first, she thought it might be a helicopter, but as she drew closer, she realized the light was unlike anything she had ever seen. It was a pulsating orb, emitting an otherworldly glow that seemed to defy logic. Curiosity and a growing sense of dread compelled her to pull over and investigate. She stepped out of her car, the cold night air biting at her skin. The light remained stationary, illuminating the forest with an eerie brilliance. Emily's heart pounded as she walked towards the light, her flashlight in hand. The orb hovered silently, and as she approached, she felt a strange sensation wash over her, an inexplicable mixture of fear and fascination. Suddenly, the light intensified, and a high-pitched humming filled the air. Emily tried to shield her eyes, but the light was blinding. She felt a force pulling her towards the orb, lifting her off the ground. Panic set in as she struggled to break free, but the force was too strong. The last thing she remembered was the sensation of being drawn into the light, her surroundings fading into a blinding white void. Emily woke up in complete darkness, her body lying on a cold, metallic surface. Her head throbbed, and her limbs felt heavy and numb. As her vision adjusted, she realized she was inside a small, dimly lit room. The walls were smooth and metallic, with strange symbols etched into the surface. She tried to move, but her body was restrained by unseen forces. Panic surged through her as she struggled to free herself, her mind racing to make sense of her situation. She could hear faint mechanical sounds in the distance, accompanied by a low rhythmic hum. Suddenly, a section of the wall slid open, and a figure entered the room. Emily's breath caught in her throat as she saw the being before her. It was tall and slender, with pale, translucent skin and large, black, almond-shaped eyes. Its movements were fluid and graceful, and it exuded an aura of calm intelligence. The being approached her, its eyes locking onto hers. Emily felt a strange sensation, as if the creature was communicating with her telepathically. Images and emotions flooded her mind, overwhelming her senses. She saw flashes of strange landscapes, advanced technology, and otherworldly beings. Do not be afraid, a voice echoed in her mind. We mean you no harm. You have been chosen to help us understand your world. Emily's fear mingled with curiosity. She wanted to ask questions to understand what was happening, but her thoughts were jumbled and chaotic. The being reached out, placing a hand on her forehead, and a wave of calm washed over her. We seek knowledge, the voice continued. Our mission is to observe and learn from other species. You will not be harmed. The being began to conduct a series of examinations, its movements precise and methodical. Emily felt no pain, only a strange sense of detachment. She watched as the creature scanned her body with a series of intricate devices, recording data and making adjustments. Hours passed, or maybe days, time had lost all meaning. Emily drifted in and out of consciousness, her mind filled with strange visions and sensations. She saw glimpses of the being's world, a place of advanced technology and enigmatic beauty. She felt their curiosity, their desire to understand the universe and the beings that inhabited it. Eventually, the examination ceased, and the being released her restraints. Emily felt a rush of relief as she regained control of her body, the being helped her to her feet, its eyes filled with a gentle kindness. It is time for you to return, the voice said. You will remember, but you will also forget. This experience will remain with you, but it will not define you. 
No. The being guided her back through the metallic corridor, the low hum growing louder as they approached a doorway filled with blinding light. Emily felt a sense of finality, as if she was on the cusp of something profound. The light engulfed her, and she felt herself being drawn back to the forest, back to her world. The transition was seamless, and she found herself lying on the cold ground next to her car. The orb of light was gone, and the night was silent once more. Emily returned to her life in Elmwood, forever changed by her experience. She tried to make sense of what had happened, but the memories were fragmented and elusive. She remembered the being's eyes, the strange symbols, and the sense of calm intelligence. She began to notice subtle changes in herself, an increased awareness of her surroundings, a deeper understanding of the world. Her dreams were filled with images of otherworldly landscapes and advanced technology, leaving her with a sense of longing and curiosity. She knew she could never fully explain what had happened to her, but she felt a strange sense of purpose. She began to document her experiences, hoping to find others who had undergone similar encounters. The town of Elmwood remained unaware of the extraordinary events that had unfolded in the forest. To them, Emily was the same dedicated teacher she had always been, her quiet demeanor masking the profound changes within her. As the years passed, Emily continued to explore the mysteries of the universe, driven by the memories of her encounter. She knew that she was just one small part of a much larger puzzle, and that the beings she had encountered were still out there, watching and learning. And on quiet nights, when the sky was clear and the stars shone brightly, Emily would stand in her backyard, looking up at the vast expanse of the cosmos. She knew that somewhere out there, the beings were continuing their mission, and that one day, they might return. Emily's life took on a new rhythm after her encounter. By day, she was the dedicated high school science teacher that Elmwood knew and loved. By night, she was a seeker of the unknown, driven by her haunting experience and the fragments of knowledge she had gained. In the months following her abduction, Emily began to piece together her memories, documenting everything in a journal. She started reading about other abduction experiences, finding eerie similarities that both comforted and unnerved her. She reached out to online forums and support groups, connecting with others who had encountered the inexplicable. One evening, while browsing an online forum dedicated to extraterrestrial encounters, Emily received a private message from a user named Orion Watcher. The message was concise but intriguing. I believe you. I think I can help you understand what happened to you. Meet me. Attached was an address to a small town several hours drive from Elmwood. Emily's heart raced as she contemplated the message. It was risky, but her curiosity and need for answers outweighed her fear. She decided to go. The following Saturday, Emily set out on her journey. The drive was uneventful, the autumn scenery passing by in a blur of reds, oranges, and golds. She arrived at the address a secluded cabin nestled deep in the woods, just as the sun began to set. As she approached the cabin, a man in his late forties stepped out to greet her. He had a kind, weathered face and an air of quiet intensity. Emily Parker? he asked. Yes, she replied, her voice steady despite her nerves. I'm Sam. I go by Orion Watcher online. Please come in. The cabin's interior was cozy and cluttered with books, maps, and strange artifacts. Sam led her to a small sitting area where they could talk. I read your story online, he began, and it resonated with me. I've had similar experiences, and I've spent years researching this phenomenon. Emily leaned forward, eager to hear more. What did you find? Sam took a deep breath. I believe we are being observed by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. They are studying us, trying to understand our biology, our culture, and our behavior. Your encounter, like mine, was part of this study. He handed Emily a stack of documents and photos. These are records of similar encounters from around the world. There are patterns, specific times, locations, and even types of individuals they seem to be interested in. As Emily pored over the documents, she felt a sense of validation. She wasn't alone. Her experience was part of something much larger. What do we do now? She asked, looking up at Sam. We need to find out more, Sam replied. I've been tracking sightings and encounters. There's a location where these events are most frequent. I think it's some kind of observation point or a base. We need to go there. 
Ah. Emily's heart raced with a mix of excitement and fear. When do we leave? Tonight, Sam said, his eyes gleaming with determination. We'll drive to the location and see what we can find. The journey took them deep into the forest, far from any signs of civilization. They reached a clearing that Sam had identified on his maps, a place where the electromagnetic readings were unusually high and where sightings had been reported frequently. As they set up their equipment, cameras, EMF detectors, and recording devices, the air grew cold and still. The sky was clear, and the stars shone brightly overhead. Hours passed with no activity, and Emily began to wonder if they were wasting their time. Suddenly, a soft humming filled the air, and the ground seemed to vibrate beneath their feet. Emily and Sam exchanged a tense glance, their anticipation palpable. The humming grew louder, and a bright light appeared in the sky, descending rapidly toward the clearing. Emily's heart pounded as the light resolved into a familiar, pulsating orb, the same type of craft that had taken her before. She felt a mix of terror and awe as the orb hovered above them, bathing the clearing in its otherworldly glow. Stay calm, Sam whispered, though his voice trembled. We need to document this. They activated their cameras and recording devices, capturing every detail of the encounter. The orb remained stationary for several minutes, its light pulsating rhythmically. Then, without warning, a beam of light shot out from the orb, enveloping them both. Emily felt the same force pulling her upward, and her surroundings blurred into a blinding white void. When she regained her senses, she found herself inside the same metallic room as before. But this time, she was not alone. Sam was there too, looking around in awe and fear. The tall, slender being with the pale, translucent skin and large black eyes appeared before them. Its gaze was as intense and unnerving as Emily remembered. Welcome back, Emily, the voice echoed in her mind. And welcome, Sam. We have much to learn from you both. Emily and Sam stood side by side, their fear giving way to a shared determination. They had come seeking answers, and now they were face to face with the beings who had chosen them for this extraordinary journey. The examinations began again, but this time, Emily felt a sense of purpose. She focused on the images and emotions flooding her mind, trying to understand the beings' motives. She saw visions of their homeworld, a place of unimaginable beauty and technological advancement. She felt their curiosity, their desire to bridge the gap between their species and humanity. Hours or perhaps days passed in a blur of sensations and images. Finally, the examination ceased, and the being addressed them once more. Your cooperation has been valuable, the voice said. We will return you to your world now, but remember, our study is ongoing. We will meet again. Emily and Sam were enveloped in the blinding light once more, and the next thing they knew, they were lying on the forest floor the orb of light disappearing into the night sky. Back in Elmwood, Emily and Sam became close friends and collaborators, dedicated to uncovering the truth about their encounters. They continued to document their experiences and share their findings with the world, hoping to raise awareness and prepare humanity for the possibility of contact with an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. The town remained unaware of the extraordinary events that had unfolded in the forest. But Emily and Sam knew that they were part of something much larger. Their encounters had given them a glimpse into a vast and mysterious universe, and they were determined to understand it. As they looked up at the night sky, they knew that somewhere out there, the beings were watching, learning, and waiting for the right moment to reveal themselves fully. And Emily and Sam were ready to meet them, armed with knowledge, curiosity, and an unshakable belief in the possibility of a new chapter in human history. Emily and Sam's lives took on a sense of urgency as they delved deeper into the mysteries of their encounters. The knowledge they had gained, combined with the vivid memories and strange symbols etched into their minds, drove them to seek out others who had experienced similar phenomena. They created a detailed website to document their findings, complete with the videos, photos, and notes they had taken during their investigations. It quickly gained traction, attracting attention from all corners of the world. People began sharing their own stories of strange lights, abductions, and encounters with otherworldly beings. Emily and Sam found themselves at the center of a growing community of experiencers, scientists, and enthusiasts, all eager to uncover the truth. One day, Emily received a message from a renowned astrophysicist, Dr. Rachel Adams. 
She had been following their work closely and believed that she could help them understand the scientific aspects of their experiences. Dr. Adams invited them to her research facility in Nevada, where she had access to advanced equipment and a team of experts. Eager for answers, Emily and Sam agreed and traveled to Nevada. Dr. Adams greeted them warmly and gave them a tour of the facility, which was filled with cutting-edge technology and research tools. She explained that she had been studying anomalous phenomena for years and had recently detected unusual energy signatures in the areas where sightings and encounters were most frequent. These energy signatures don't match anything we've seen before, Dr. Adams explained. I believe they could be a form of communication or a portal mechanism used by the extraterrestrials. Emily and Sam shared their recordings and data with Dr. Adams and her team, who analyzed them meticulously. They discovered that the energy signatures were indeed unique, exhibiting patterns that suggested intelligent design. As the days turned into weeks, the team made significant progress. They identified several hotspots around the world where the energy signatures were strongest, indicating potential locations of extraterrestrial activity. One of these hotspots was an isolated region in the Amazon rainforest, an area largely unexplored and filled with ancient ruins and mysteries. Driven by the need to uncover the truth, Emily, Sam, and Dr. Adams organized an expedition to the Amazon. They assembled a team of experts, including biologists, archaeologists, and engineers, and prepared for the challenging journey ahead. The expedition began with a flight to the nearest city, followed by a treacherous boat ride up the Amazon River. The dense jungle and sweltering heat made the journey arduous, but the team's determination never wavered. As they ventured deeper into the rainforest, they encountered signs of ancient civilizations, stone carvings, abandoned temples, and mysterious artifacts that hinted at a long-lost connection with the extraterrestrial beings. The energy signatures grew stronger, guiding them to a hidden valley shrouded in mist. In the heart of the valley, they discovered a massive stone structure covered in intricate carvings and glowing symbols. The air around the structure crackled with energy, and the team felt a palpable sense of awe and trepidation. This is it, Dr. Adams said, her voice filled with excitement. This is the epicenter of the energy signatures. We need to be careful and methodical in our exploration. As they approached the structure, Emily felt a strange sensation wash over her, similar to the one she had experienced during her abduction. She knew they were on the brink of a monumental discovery. The team carefully examined the carvings and symbols, documenting everything. They found a series of chambers filled with artifacts, some of which resembled advanced technology. In the central chamber, they discovered a large stone tablet covered in glowing symbols that matched those Emily and Sam had seen during their encounters. Dr. Adams and her team worked tirelessly to decipher the symbols, eventually realizing that they were instructions, a guide to activating a portal device hidden within the structure. The portal, according to the inscriptions, was a gateway to the extraterrestrial's world, used by ancient civilizations for communication and travel. The team gathered around the central chamber, their hearts pounding with anticipation. Following the instructions, they activated the portal device, which began to hum with energy. The air shimmered, and a swirling vortex of light appeared before them. We're about to make history, Dr. Adams said, her eyes shining with excitement. This portal could be the key to understanding our place in the universe. Emily and Sam exchanged a determined glance. They knew the risks, but their curiosity and drive for answers outweighed their fear. They stepped forward, ready to venture into the unknown. As they entered the vortex, they felt a rush of sensations, light, sound, and movement all blending together. When the sensation subsided, they found themselves standing on a vast, alien landscape. The sky was a deep iridescent blue and strange bioluminescent plants dotted the landscape. Towering structures of advanced design loomed in the distance. The beings they had encountered during their abduction stood before them, their eyes filled with a mixture of curiosity and recognition. Welcome, the voice echoed in their minds. You have crossed the threshold and entered our world. We have much to share with you. Emily and Sam felt a profound sense of awe and purpose. They knew that their journey had just begun and that the knowledge they would gain could change the course of human history. Back on Earth, the remaining team members in the Amazon waited anxiously for Emily, Sam, and Dr. Adams to return. The portal remained active, 
its swirling light a constant reminder of the extraordinary journey their friends had embarked upon. Days turned into weeks, and the team continued their research, documenting their findings and sharing them with the world. The discovery of the portal and the ancient structure sparked a global interest in extraterrestrial life and advanced civilizations. Emily and Sam's story, once a source of skepticism, became a beacon of hope and curiosity for millions. They knew that their friends were out there, exploring a world beyond imagination, and they held on to the belief that one day, they would return with answers that would forever change humanity's understanding of the universe. And so the world waited, with bated breath, for the next chapter in the incredible saga of Emily Parker, Sam, and the beings from beyond the stars. Emily and Sam stood on the alien landscape, their hearts pounding with anticipation. The beings before them were taller than they remembered, their features more defined, and their presence more commanding. The landscape around them was both beautiful and unnerving, filled with colors and shapes that defied earthly understanding. We have been waiting for this moment, the lead being said, its voice resonating in their minds. You are the first humans to cross into our world willingly. Emily and Sam exchanged a glance, a mix of fear and excitement in their eyes. What do you want from us? Emily asked, her voice trembling. We seek knowledge and understanding, the being replied. Our worlds are connected, but the connection has been damaged. You are here to help us repair it. The beings led them to a towering structure made of a material that seemed to shift and change with the light. Inside, they found a vast chamber filled with advanced technology and strange, glowing symbols. The air hummed with energy, and Emily felt a familiar sensation wash over her, a blend of curiosity and fear. You will assist us in the restoration process, the being said. But first, we must understand you better. <laughs> Emily and Sam were separated and taken to different chambers. Emily's chamber was filled with strange devices and screens displaying incomprehensible data. The beings began a series of tests, scanning her body and mind, probing her memories and emotions. As the test progressed, Emily felt a growing sense of unease. The being's curiosity seemed to border on obsession, their methods increasingly invasive and painful. She began to question their intentions, wondering if they were as benevolent as they claimed. Meanwhile, Sam was subjected to similar tests, his mind filled with visions of alien landscapes and advanced technology. He too felt the being's relentless pursuit of knowledge and began to fear for their safety. Days turned into weeks, and the tests continued. Emily and Sam were allowed brief moments together, during which they shared their growing concerns. They knew they had to find a way back to Earth, but the portal seemed to be beyond their reach. One night, as they huddled together in a small chamber, Emily confided her fears to Sam. I don't think they ever intended to let us go, she whispered. We're prisoners here, and I don't know how much more of this I can take. Sam nodded, his expression grim. We need to find a way to escape. There has to be a way to reactivate the portal from this side. Their chance came when a massive storm hit the alien world, disrupting the being's activities. The power fluctuations affected the security systems, giving Emily and Sam the opportunity they needed. They slipped out of their chambers and made their way to the central control room, where they hoped to find a way to reactivate the portal. The control room was filled with complex machinery and glowing symbols. Emily's heart pounded as she approached the main console, her mind racing with the fragments of knowledge she had gleaned during her time there. Help me with this, she said to Sam, her fingers flying over the controls. We need to find the sequence to open the portal. The beings, alerted to their presence, began to close in. The tension was palpable as Emily and Sam worked frantically, their fear fueling their determination. Finally, the console beeped, and a vortex of light began to form in the center of the room. The portal was opening. Hurry! Sam shouted, pulling Emily towards the swirling light. Just as they reached the portal, the beings burst into the room, their eyes blazing with anger. Emily and Sam dove into the vortex, the sensation of being pulled through space and time overwhelming their senses. They landed hard on the forest floor, gasping for breath. The portal closed behind them, the light fading into the night. They were back on Earth, but their ordeal was far from over. The forest around them was eerily silent, the air thick with tension. As they stood up, they realized they were not alone. The beings had followed them through the portal, their forms shimmering in the moonlight. 
We cannot let you leave, the lead being said, its voice cold and unyielding. You know too much. Emily and Sam backed away, their hearts pounding with terror. We just want to go home, Emily pleaded. Your knowledge is a threat to our existence, the being replied. You must be contained. Before they could react, the beings surrounded them, their eyes glowing with a sinister light. Emily and Sam felt their bodies growing heavy, their minds clouding with an overpowering sense of dread. As the beings closed in, Emily felt a surge of determination. She grabbed Sam's hand and whispered, We have to fight! Summoning all their strength, they broke free of the beings' grasp and ran into the forest, their breaths coming in ragged gasps. The beings pursued them relentlessly, their movements eerily silent and swift. They reached a clearing, their path blocked by a steep cliff. With nowhere to run, they turned to face their pursuers, their backs against the edge. This is it, Sam said, his voice filled with despair. We can't outrun them. Emily's mind raced, searching for a way out. She spotted a narrow ledge along the cliffside, a dangerous but possible escape route. Follow me, she said, leading Sam towards the ledge. They edged along the cliff, the drop below dizzying. The beings followed, their movements fluid and precise. Just as it seemed they would be caught, Emily's foot slipped, and she tumbled over the edge, pulling Sam with her. They fell into the darkness, the wind rushing past them. As they plummeted, Emily felt a strange sense of peace. They had fought with everything they had, and now their fate was in the hands of the unknown. The impact never came. Instead, they found themselves floating in a void, their bodies weightless. The beings surrounded them, their eyes filled with a mixture of anger and curiosity. You cannot escape us, the lead being said, its voice echoing in the void. You will be contained. Emily and Sam felt their consciousness slipping away, the void closing in around them. Their last thoughts were of home, of the life they had left behind, and of the terrifying unknown that awaited them. Back in Elmwood, the town carried on as usual, unaware of the extraordinary events that had transpired. Emily and Sam's disappearance became a local mystery, their story fading into legend. But in the depths of the forest, where the portal had once opened, the air hummed with a strange energy. The beings watched, waiting for the right moment to continue their study, their eyes ever vigilant. And somewhere, in the endless void between worlds, Emily and Sam floated in suspended animation, their minds a repository of forbidden knowledge, their bodies prisoners of an extraterrestrial force beyond human comprehension. The story of Emily Parker and Sam's encounter with the beings from beyond the stars became a chilling reminder of the vast and terrifying unknown that lay beyond the veil of our understanding, a warning to those who dared to seek the secrets of the universe. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video, 